I'd rather be grilling. That's right, guys. Hi there. Okay, so we continue with the Grilla Grills Barbecue Wars Tour. And this is a place I am excited about. I just want to thank Grilla Grills for being the sponsor of this tour. It's been amazing. Look, I got my hat. I got my shirt on. Whoops. There we go. Showing a little undershirt. Don't want that happening. All right, so let's show you where we're going. There it is, boys and girls. It is world famous. It's the Shed Barbecue and Blues Joint, a family food drinkery. Don't know what that means, but uh, it's... It, this is what the area looks like. So, I'm not sure if we're on a campground. The Shed Barbecue, yes, we are open. It, so I don't know if it's there or there, or is it in that trailer there? And then there's a sign there, or is that it? So we're gonna be walking around trying to figure out where the food is. What, what did it say? You must be in a good mood to enter. Oh, is it over there? Welcome to the shed. Shed sauce is now carried nationwide. nationwide. Look at that. 7, oh, stores. did we? How about that? Really? Over 7, stores shed there. sauce carried nationwide. Over 7,000 stores. I've never heard of them to like put this thing together. Okay, now we're getting here. Okay, so we parked like really far away. I just don't, I feel like we're on a campground. Is this where we, I guess we can sit here and. So I'm way confused where everything yeah. is. There is Oh, okay, so this is where they do their live music. Got it, look at the fan doesn't even need to go. It's so windy here. It just propels itself. There we go, there's the entrance of the lake. We now ship barbecue nationwide, really? Wow. Foodie Direct, guys, look at this. So if this is any good, you can order it online. <laughs> this place looks like a junkyard. Dude, this place looks like, doesn't it? I, know. Yeah. I think you gotta be coming here to get here. Huh? I think you gotta be coming here to get here. I don't think you just happened by here. Oh, no. No, I don't- I think I, you have to camp here. I, okay, you must be in a good mood to enter. Today's special. Oh, house, they do their own ham, dude. Oh, look at that. Pastrami milk, brown mustard. Ooh. Barbecue salad. Barbecue salad, nice. All right, let's go check it out, guys. Hello. Well, it's not that way. Right? It's in here. Okay. <laughs> Which way are we going, guys? We can go that way. Entrance, I guess. Here. Okay. Oh, this is it. Sorry. Excuse me. Thank you. All right. I think we found food. We are here. Guys, there's so much to look at. at my... I don't even know what's up there. Look at all these dollar bills on the ceiling. And what size would you like? Hey guys, what are you doing? Huh? We're checking out this this collection over here. Did you see it? Oh, okay. Yeah, they've been on. Um, I guess Guy Fieri's been here. Okay. All right. So we have no idea what this tastes like. No. Nah, nah, <laughs> all right. So they got beer on tap over there. They got they got a bunch of beverages there. And then they have tons of beer. Good. How are you? Can I film you? Sure, hi. I've never been here before, hi. <laughs> um, okay, so, this, and you can help me do it the least expensive way. Okay, what do you want to do? We're gonna try, we just want to sample, we want to do pulled pork. Mm -hmm. Do you guys do brisket? Mm, of course. Okay, thank you, well, thank you. Yes, I love You're it. You're not the only, there's so many places that don't. That's weird. So we want pulled pork, brisket, chicken, and ribs. Okay, so do you want to get our shed sampler? Did you see that? No. That's all seven meats. Okay, well you can do a jumbo shed sampler, you get a half pound of each meat. You get baby back ribs, spare ribs, sliced brisket, pork, chicken, chicken wings, and sausage. Three sides, two slices of bread, pickle, and onion. Yeah. I think this, this is That's, a professional place here. Alright, how much is that sampler? That's $36. Okay. This is a commercial. This is a commercial. Basically. Yeah, let's do... do well, Alright, we're doing that. Alright, and That's you right. guys get to pick any three sides from page box. <laughs> do you have mac and cheese? Of course. All right, do you have baked beans? Yeah. Coleslaw? Yep. There it is. Do you guys want to add any sides? Or we no? love you guys already. Three waters would be great. Okay. Three waters would be awesome. Water? Water, yeah. Absolutely. All right, what's the name? Huh? What's, what's the, the name? name? Oh, Jack. Last name? Scalfani. Jack S. There it is. Oh, did you just call me a jackass? Yes. You, did. you just did. 52. <laughs> she called me a donkey. Yeah. Do you guys want to split it? Mm -hmm. or? Um, do you split it for us or we I split can. it? Yeah, could you split it all three ways? Sure. So that we can each have a little. We don't care how it is. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, the bill. I thought you meant the food. Sorry. I'm such an idiot. I'm paying for it all. I'm, I'm like, really? You're going to cut our chicken for us? No, I'm not. Okay. 3852. <laughs> okay, guys. This is the... Get a shot of that. You want to point out what everything is for me? Mitch, do you know I don't what know what everything is? is. Well, we got sausage here. Sausage. This is pork. obviously the pulled pork. Right. These are the ribs. Ribs. I'm thinking brisket. Brisket. The chicken. Chicken. Uh, what's this? Wings. One? Wings. Wings. And what is that? Oh, spare ribs, baby backs. Oh, spare ribs and baby yeah, backs? Yeah, just Dude, like, we got two different types of ribs. We got the spare ribs and the baby backs. You guys going to get a shot of this or we not? Do it. Yeah. That's a beautiful platter. We can do it. Come the on. Mat, uh, here, I'll okay. sit. So, yeah, yes. Yeah, absolutely. Let's talk Please barbecue. Do it. Yeah, All right. That. That's so, what I'm here for. I, and guys, if you want to start chowing down, I don't need yeah. to get pictures of you eating because I've got you. the owner here. Yes, I know. Oh Brooke goodness. is important. <laughs> Brooke is important. All right. Celebrity. What, yeah. what's, your, what's your first name again? Brooke? I am Brooke, and uh, my brother Brad and I own the Shed Barbecue and Blues Joint here in South Mississippi. So, I'm kind of excited that you guys are here testing out the product. Is this the only one? This is the only shed. We right. are on Highway 57 Barbecue Heaven. <laughs> okay, so so my question Perfect. is, what made you do this place? What started? Oh my goodness! So long story short, 15 years ago, I was 19 years old and my brother was 24, and he had a crazy idea to open a barbecue joint, mm. family food drinkery, we call it, um, here on our parents' property. And I was in college, and my um, science degree quickly turned into Shedology 101. Nice. And uh, we've been slinging barbecue all the way across the nation with our competition team and here in Ocean Springs ever since. And now we actually, I'm really proud of this, we have four sauces and three marinades and two barbecue rubs that are on about 10,000 shelves in the U.S. now. Wow. God bless you guys. Congratulations. Yeah. Okay, that. so who's the developer of the formulas? So my dad is the saucer. And, uh, the saucier. It, yeah, oh, the saucier. <laughs> yeah. And, um, but I will tell you, it is a family affair. And, um, and we take pride in our sauces. We're a very clean label. We're all natural, no high fructose corn syrup, gluten free, made with non GMO ingredients. So we're really proud of We call it junk free, all in a nutshell. Oh my gosh. Good I, I've just licked yeah. my finger first just a second yeah. ago and unbelievable that we're going home with some sauce. Yeah. If you go back north, Mississippi, you definitely have to stop at our friend's Ubon's uh, Barbecue. Ooh. What's it called? It's Ubon's Barbecue. Ubon's. It's U B O N S. And um, they also have an absolute killer barbecue sauce, but I tell you what's even better is their Bloody Mary mix. Really? Knock your sauce. I noticed you have, is that theirs behind you? No, that, that, that's your brand? That's not. We're actually sold out. We they carry theirs and we're sold out. This is a local brand made okay. here. And, uh, and we're real proud of that. It's a good one too, but I'll tell you what, North Mississippi, go to Ubon's. Where? See, okay. And see Leslie Rorick, uh, we call her the barbecue princess. The old hickory, uh, use, we use pecan wood. Oh, and that? So they have the propane assist here, and the JNRs use electric assist. Yeah. So they both do gorgeous things. Right, how old are you? I'll be 40 this year. Dude, you look like ah, you're 21. Hey, you I'll take 25. that. Some lady yeah. told me I looked old today, and I was like, Dude, I'm damn. Like, I'm like, you I just did? get off your surfboard, or you just yeah. walk right in? Yeah. What's up? I just got off the chicken farm. But yeah. <laughs> Dude. That's awesome. Yeah. God, hey. I hope I look that good when I'm 41. Road trip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad the kitchen looks this good because y'all just came in unannounced, so I'm loving it. I'm yeah, we always show up unannounced, yeah. so it's always good. Everybody yeah. thought barbecue was going to be popular and then like go out of style. Nope. We ain't leaving. Oh, well, yeah, well, thank you better. so much for yeah. showing us hey, around. No thank you, man. We're going to go meet your dad right now. Yeah, head yeah. to the saucer. Dude, these, these are, are their Yetis? Yeah. Oh my gosh. So just a little bit of the stash. Those are huge. Hey, this is Jim uh, on the Gorilla Grills uh, Barbecue Wars Tour. We're down in Ocean Springs, Mississippi at the shed. Uh, you need to be here. You ought to be here. You should be here. Make it a priority. Everything's wonderful. Good sausage. Smoky, not too fatty. Um, uh, it's got the sauce on it. It's all good. Uh, pork, pulled pork, moist, tender. Ribs, you get uh, you get uh, the spare ribs, you get baby backs. It's all good, no complaints. Uh, don't if it ain't broke, don't fix it. 
mac and cheese is good uh, baked beans good it's all good the the the, the sauce was right on the sauce wasn't overpowering. Everything had the good smoke flavor. Everything was tender. Everything was warm. Everything was juicy. It's a it's an experience. You need to come. All right, guys. So uh, here at the shed, um, I'll tell you what. I was a little uh, didn't know what to expect when we walked in originally, just because of the atmosphere around us. But once we got inside, um, I mean, we did the sampler pile in there. I think it was and seven meats. Are you kidding? I mean. That was what the, the, the spare rib, the uh, baby backs, it was the pulled pork, it was the sauce. I mean, it went on and on and on. The brisket, in my opinion, was by far some of the best that I've ever had. It was very, very moist. Um, they had a little bit of their sauce on there, not enough to overpower that taste, but I mean, it was spot on. The sides, the mac and cheese, the coleslaw, and the beans, I thought were all right where they needed to be. But, um, in my opinion i mean this this place has just been great not to mention the owner to come over brooke i think her name was and she sat down with us took time out of her busy schedule when the place was filling up with people just wanted to share you know with us what this place is about what it meant to her kind of how it meant to be the just the overall service in this place was amazing so you got to come and check this one out it was great okay guys so i know we're taking seven restaurants that are competing against each other but as you guys who've watched the show for many years, the best barbecue I ever had was in North Long Beach, Robert Earl's Barbecue. Uh, the reason they were the best is because not only was all the meat flawless, but all the sides were above and beyond recipes that I've never tasted before in my life, okay? I'm gonna tell you, this is my number two all time. And the only reason they didn't get the number one spot, all their sides are amazing. All their sides, they're five star sides, but the, the sides, there was nothing like unique about them like at Robert Earl's. So that's why they're my number one. This is my all time number two. I have never eaten every single meat and not had a problem without one. It is so, it's it's mind blowing. In fact, they're sending me an ambulance right now to take me away because I'm going crazy. I'm so blown away. I bought all their sauces. Hold on a minute, guys. I bought all their sauces. I bought their seasonings. I'll be right there. Check it out. The Shed in Mississippi. Love you. See you on the next episode. Bye-bye.